All right, what's up everybody? Like and strife here, Drift Wolf Gaming, and this video has been made possible by Iron Tech Doll. Very neatly packed. This is one of the first companies actually that has a specific way of packing, even though some of you might argue that certain ways of packaging this stuff is mandatory and standard, but we always have foam, we always have these airbags, and they even left in two cool shirts. Wow, this is really nice. So we have a XL, which is for me, which is dope because I'm a fat boy. And we actually have a L. I'll leave the XL over here. Show you guys right here. Look at this, how cool. Iron Tech Doll, beauty inspired creations. Or creation, I should say. That's really neat. Gently getting this stuff out of the way. I always save this stuff. It's always nice to have the original box. I always save that in my shed. I always keep everything nice and clean. So this is actually the first time that I've seen a specific safe bag around this item right here. We've got Velcro over here. So this was attached with Velcro, which is really nice. And then we have a little zipper right here. She's naked though. <laughs> so we have to edit this video. So there's not much that I can do right now. Again, very nice uh, way of packaging, very thick foam. We've got her wig right here, um, which we need to take over to the couch as well. We've got your accessories, a comb and a warming wand. And there's a book in here with a piece of lingerie. So then we go over to the back. Again, really annoying that I have to do it from the side, but that's just the space in my house right now. We need to take this over there, get that away. We have, oh, this is like a water bottle, but this has to be the cleaning device, which is also very different per make so this is just a pink bottle i want to do the close-up of the uh the wig right here a1 then you have your comb here and your um, wand and there is a manual and it's in a ziploc bag so which is good and then there's the lingerie so you can see that before here you have it again all looks very good um, neatly packed taken good care of so this is going to be the head again there's a lot of stuff around here i have seen them use specific plastic molds for the head um of course she's a dark dark skin color girl she now looks like catwoman but of course she's bald we still need to put on the hair but very nice details like looks really good it's difficult to see now because it's pretty dark in here because the sun is shining out like super hard but a very nice detailed head looks amazing no like weird other things going on of course you got a couple of stripes on here that's gonna um, go away eventually that's just because of the um, the fact that she's been uh, moved and there's a little bit of uh, stuff left here in the eye probably some glue but that's something that you can take away yourself nice little bolt specific number on the other side of the head I might actually have to take that away because I don't want it to uh, make blemishes on the um, on the doll itself. I don't know if this will. This probably looks like a good marker. I've seen companies before also put stuff on here like uh, with a red or a blue marker and it actually went over to the neck of the doll which is of course appalling. That's something that you don't want to do. The feet are actually really... oh my camera's being weird. Feet look really cool. Gotta be careful with the angle and everything. Um, also these bolts are really nice you also have to expect that there's always a little bit of overlap here or some it's not really damage it's just how people have to drill in or put in those screws and that's just what you get sometimes you know a little bit of overlap here um, you know you can always clean it off yourself again um, the feet are really cool looking oh I have to adjust the camera why is the camera always being so difficult recenter Go down a little bit. See, it just looks nice. She's in this awkward position right now. Of course, the the toes are always a little bit dangly. 
uh, there aren't I think any company or maybe there are some companies that have um, skeleton toes I don't know for sure don't quote me on that I have no idea about that I do know that there are hands and fingers that you have skeletons for so now we're gonna go over the doll because she doesn't have any pants on so yeah let me just get her dressed a little bit more all right so here's also a small little tip uh, maybe it's something that I think is necessary maybe other people think I'm over exaggerating I have this um, this is a bamboo sock which means that technically should she could be standing under the shower and not get waterlogged or anything and then underneath I have this white sock which I have right there these are old socks they come from another type of doll but it seems to fit just fine so this is normally what I do I put on two socks so that the feet are uh, you know uh, supported when they're going into uh, a shoe now I remember correctly I thought the foot was 22 centimeters so I have to see if the shoes that I still have left from another doll are gonna fit but you know it's always handy and uh, what was really cool is also that my uh, my wife sometimes donates clothes as well so you know that's always handy as well so I never run out of female clothes all right so here she is she is sitting just a little tiny bit up on the uh, on the couch she's floating kinda because her, uh, her caboose is pretty big but she looks really dope I mean even with the cap on and uh, you know she looks like <laughs> like she's going to the beach right now I still have to get those hand protectors off and again um, you know it doesn't matter which company uh, you order from wigs are always a specific thing and uh, you know the quality isn't as good uh, of a wig as the doll is itself uh, that's always a little bit of a thing they don't make wigs themselves so that's a different kind of story so you can't really complain about that either it's just something that you can choose what kind of style you like I still have some wigs upstairs in a box with some clothing so I should be good with changing up some styles and making some pictures and stuff like that doing some poses but yeah other than that she looks really uh, really neat um, she is like I said pretty heavy um, yeah cool thing is I don't know if I'm gonna get flagged right here for YouTube as well she has gel boobs so that means they do shake and jiggle a lot which is nice Um, yeah I mean I just like like I said in previous videos a lot of times I like big action figures and you know we can make her into a, a Catwoman or maybe Storm from the X-Men uh, that would be really cool so we need to get off the hand protectors and see how her hands and her nails look like so these are her hands which also let me see I'm still wearing gloves though sometimes I do not wear them when I'm filming but every time I'm touching the doll wear gloves because you know you're sweating so this model has which I think is really cool because this is actually the first model that I have had in my possession now that has articulative fingers which means you think it might be well I still and yeah it's not I don't think it's part of the skeleton or is it it's very difficult to feel normally when I've tested these hands they don't feel as snug as they do right now on this one so I might think they have done a little thicker wire or it's actually part of the skeleton uh, hand itself it might be so I think it's connected yeah I mean it's a lot thicker than I'm normally used to which is just like super tiny wires and they they even create pokes through the uh, the skin itself but this means that I can do something that's pretty cool she is flipping you off right here isn't that amazing so what I figured out is look how cool this is so this is the finger and it goes into increments just like a real finger look at that you see the curve there's a little knuckle here's a little knuckle so weep meow goes completely back to its original state and I can feel the differences it's really cool I thought there was a mark there but it's actually just how the uh, knuckle is portrayed on the skin which is really cool so that's really dope that she's very articulate and here we have for all you Star Trek fans out there live long and prosper 
it's really cool I mean just look at the detail of the inside of the hand you know it looks really dope and again even the smallest finger goes into a little tap like that and into a little tap like this look at that it's amazing it's really cool so again the quality is really dope this is a iron tech doll strong like iron smart like tech <laughs> i always try to figure up some sentences or some slogans for that um this is a 164 centimeter plus model and it has a lola face or lola head she's really dope so yeah by flipping you off and saying goodbye see you guys in the next video please leave a like and subscribe and if you want to see more um you know review stuff uh, about this doll as well just let me know and i'll do a little bit more of a walk around i still have to uh, stand her up and check out the back because I haven't done that. I've just kept her here on the couch So yeah, we'll uh, we'll check that out in a later video. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Peace